Hey, I'm just going to run through uh, a quick explanation of uh, the Stones version of Drift Away, which I don't think has been on an album, just uh, bootlegs and stuff. Um, the question is, uh, earlier this week, so I want to know, is that uh, standard or open G? And uh, I'm pretty sure it's standard, believe it or not. Um, the, the chord shapes lend themselves pretty well to, to standard. But the, the one part where it goes in between the, the, you know, at the end of the chorus. But you can hear that low E though. So he does uh, hit a low E note in there, and I assume it's Keith. So uh, I'm just going to run through it. Um, I don't know if it's standard pitch, but this is my low E. This is standard tuning, and that's my low E. That's their A. I don't know if it's actually 440, but that's A. So this little opening riff. Right, so A. The second one. It's that thing we do down here at the D chord with the A string, or sorry, D string covered at the 4th fret, which you play like that. So that's an E. If you, t if you do it in D and then move it up to, you're in E. So it's da 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 Right, those are the chords. So it would be A. That's D, G, B at 7, you know, like a D. Except you leave the A string open. as a D and then slide up slide up that D string get in the thing that I'm wasting memorized fills or listen to it that many times. So I'm just gonna fake it and play along, but this is how I would do it.
that's uh I got lost between the B minors and the D's there in the middle. <laughs> but, but that's how it goes. And uh, if you have any trouble, let me know. But I think if you just listen to it a couple times, because those again are all the chords. There's A, D, E, and B minor. Just four chords in it. Uh, so I think you'll be able to get them uh, if you listen to it a couple times. So good luck.